This was a day I would never forget. I had just arrived in Seattle for a one night layover. My family and I made our way out to the parking lot to wait for our rental car. All of a sudden we saw a pigeon. He was pretty scrawny but showed a great deal of spirit. I called him Kevin. I empathized with Kevin in the sense that he was probably also very bored and very hungry. There was a bag of kettle corn in my suitcase, so I decided to make the little guy's day. My love for pigeons began at a young age, fourth grade to be exact. I saw in them a sort of independence, an inner strength that I needed in my life. Most of all, they seemed, like me, young at heart. But in London, I have found a very different picture. Here, pigeons aren't pals, they are pests. From a young age, Londoners are taught that pigeons are not to be admired, but merely an obstacle to seeing more interesting birds. One day in Finsbury Park, my adopted home for the past three months, I came across a boy named Finn. Are you gonna throw up the I've been this close to a pigeon. I feel like I can stroke them. They don't have a neck bone. They also have got. They carry lots of germs to pigeons. No! No! Ah! Ben! 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 spirits, each having our aspirations shattered by the reality of who pigeons are. As I returned to my flat, my old pigeon blues also returned. How can I still love pigeons? I'm sure I can't much longer. They are dirty, disease-ridden, and impolite to humans and their fellow pigeon kind. And yet, when I look out my window, there you are. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs>